the bell icon to turn on notifications. In Tableau, publishing means making the workbook available to other users. It is essential to publish a workbook if you need to widen your audience or share data analysis within your company. Publishing your workbook lets you collaborate with others. Other users can view, interact, download, and subscribe to your views even without using Tableau Desktop. Publishing also lets you centralize data and database driver management. It allows you to share a single source for your Tableau data, where all workbooks connected to it is reflected after every data update. Finally, it supports mobility. You and your users can access the published views and dashboards through a web browser or using the Tableau mobile app. This way you can check on your dashboards when you're on the go, even from different locations or computers. To publish a workbook in Tableau Public, the first step is to register and create a free account on public.tableau.com. Next, open your completed workbook. If you are publishing a dashboard, it is best to hide the rest of the individual sheet views to avoid redundancy. Select the sheets to hide, then click right and select hide on the menu. It is important to assess the workbook's performance before publishing. If filtering and changing tabs already takes a long time on the desktop app, that downtime will most probably take longer when viewed online or in a server. Simple steps you can take that can have a big impact include limiting the number of marks you add to a view. More marks mean more processing power and memory is needed to render them. Try to compile related views and connect them with action filters so you can go from an overview to a more granular view as you explore the data. Limiting the number of views you add to a dashboard. Same as marks, more views will result in a longer loading time. Try to minimize the number of charts you include in the dashboard and remove charts that are unnecessary to the purpose of your workbook. You can also reduce the fields use in the details card. Removing unused fields from your data source or reducing its scope. Remove or hide fields which are not used in any views of your workbook. You can also filter the data beforehand, such as reducing it to the relevant dates or categories needed. Once you have optimized your workbook, navigate to the File menu, Save to Tableau Public. If your account is not yet connected on the Tableau desktop application, you will be prompted to sign in using your email and password. After successfully signing in, a new window will pop up where you are required to input a workbook name. The title becomes part of your view's metadata. Use a unique title that will help others find it when they search in Tableau Public. A published workbook is made up of three parts. The underlying data, when you save a workbook to Tableau Public, the publishing process creates an extract of the data connection. This extract needs to be updated regularly. The data source information in XML. It describes how to access the underlying data, field customizations, or calculations you made in Tableau. The view or dashboard. This is the interface available to other users or colleagues which they can interact with. Once the workbook is published, it will redirect you to your account on the Tableau Public website where you can see the published workbook. In this window, you have several functions for formatting, sharing, and viewing the published workbook. Clicking the Edit button lets you edit the dashboard using the browser. The Star button lets you add the workbook to your list of favorites. The Share button opens a new window with an embed code that you can use to insert the view into a website and a link to the current workbook. The Download button lets you download a copy of the workbook to an image, a crosstab file, a PDF, PowerPoint, or to a Tableau workbook, TWBX file. The other settings let you set if the workbook will be shown in your profile, the visibility of the sheets, and the access to other users to the public dashboard. Keep in mind, Tableau Public stores the workbooks on the internet without any security. You need to be careful when choosing workbooks and make sure to not publish ones that have sensitive or proprietary information. If you need security and control on who can access your workbooks, you might want to opt for either Tableau Online or Tableau Server. Tableau Online and Tableau Server both require a licensed login and security credentials. 
Tableau Server will need you to install the Tableau Server software that you need to maintain. It requires at least 15 gigabytes of free disk space, 4 core processor, and 8 gigabytes of RAM for a 64 bit system. It can also be installed in a virtual machine that meets these specifications on the minimum. Tableau Online, on the other hand, is cloud based, so all the work is done for you since the server is hosted in the cloud. Publishing in Tableau Online or Server is also similar to the steps we've instructed earlier. You need to navigate to the server menu and select Publish or click the Share button on the toolbar. Then you need to connect to your Tableau Online or Server by indicating the site in the text box. Your credentials might also be needed for the first time connections. Tableau remembers the most recent connection and will keep you logged in on your other sessions. Once connected, you are prompted to indicate the workbook name, description, tags which are helpful when searching, and the sheets or dashboard to include in the published workbook. You are also required to choose the project folder where it will be uploaded. Administrators can create projects to hold and organize related content or to delegate content management. Content on Tableau Server are workbooks, views, and data sources, and the projects that hold them. If you don't specify a project, their content is published to the default project. If you only need a static copy of your dashboard or view, you can save it in Tableau Desktop by navigating to Worksheet, Copy, Image, or to Worksheet, Export, Image for saving it as an EMF or Enhanced Metafile. Aside from images, you can also save as PDF by navigating to File, Print to PDF. Another thing to take into consideration when you are sharing a workbook is whether to publish a data source separately or have it embedded in the workbook. Here are some points for comparison. Published separately. Publishing data sources is a step towards centralizing data management. You can create policies geared toward minimizing your data source, proliferation, and helping people find the right data for the work they do. Meant to be shared. Becomes available for other Tableau users to connect to. Even if effects of data source changes on connected workbooks are planned, updating those connected workbooks is cumbersome. Extracts can be refreshed on a schedule. You set up one refresh schedule for the extract, and all workbooks that connect to it always show the most current data. Generally, helps you to optimize performance on the server or site. Embedded in workbook. Each embedded data source has a separate connection to the data. Each has the potential to show something different than the other at any given time, and data source proliferation is common. Data is available only inside the workbook. It is not available for the Tableau desktop users to connect to. Same as above, however, if multiple workbooks use similar data and need to be updated, it might be worth connecting to a published data source. Embedded extracts that aren't refreshed can be useful for showing snapshots in time. If you want to keep the data fresh, each workbook must have its own refresh schedule. Performance might be affected when the server contains multiple workbooks that connect to the same original data, and each workbook has its own refresh schedule. To publish a workbook in Tableau Public, the first step is to register and create a free account on public.tableau.com. Next, open your completed workbook. If you are publishing a dashboard, it is best to hide the rest of the individual sheet views to avoid redundancy. Select the sheets to hide, then click right and select hide on the menu. It is important to assess the workbook's performance before publishing. Once you have optimized your workbook, navigate to the file menu, save to Tableau Public. If your account is not yet connected on the Tableau desktop application, you will be prompted to sign in using your email and password. After successfully signing in, a new window will pop up where you are required to input a workbook name. The title becomes part of your view's metadata. Use a unique title that will help others find it when they search in Tableau Public. Once the workbook is published, it will redirect you to your account on the Tableau Public website where you can see the published workbook. In this window, you have several functions for formatting, sharing, and viewing the published workbook. Clicking the Edit button lets you edit the dashboard using the browser. The Star button lets you add the workbook to your list of favorites. The Share button opens a new window with an embed code 
that you can use to insert the view into a website and a link to the current workbook. The download button lets you download a copy of the workbook to an image, a crosstab file, a PDF, PowerPoint, or to a Tableau workbook, TWBX file. The other settings let you set if the workbook will be shown in your profile, the visibility of the sheets, and the access to other users to the public dashboard. Keep in mind, Tableau Public stores the workbooks on the internet without any security. You need to be careful when choosing workbooks and make sure to not publish ones that have sensitive or proprietary information. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.